what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit the situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below let's get right into this spirit ancestors and guides what is going on within this connection let's pull some energies on what's going on here <coughs> spirit ancestors and guides let's see so i'm definitely seeing somebody here as almost like an earth angel okay we have the high priestess of earth this is somebody that feels the most comfortable when they're surrounded by nature this is somebody that likes having fresh plants in the house this is somebody that likes having fresh flowers in the house this is somebody that might have um you know a water you know those little plug-in waterfalls where you can hear the water running type in their house this is just somebody that's really in tune with nature and this is also somebody that is definitely an earth angel here okay this is absolutely beautiful energy to be quite honest underneath the deck we have self-worth okay and then on the other side we have fulfillment so what I see is quite beautiful about this is we have somebody that has finally mastered the energy of being happy within self, okay? This is somebody that's finally mastered their self-worth. This is finally somebody that's comfortable in their own skin. This is somebody that fulfills their own cup, okay? Um, and this is actually a quite beautiful beautiful energy here and then you got the priestess of water and cycles okay um this could be there could be a definite um earth sign here virgo capricorn taurus but that's not for everybody but what i do see here is we have letting go okay so there could be somebody that is letting go of a situation it's been very difficult to let go of this situation i am so sorry that's the neighbor's dogs and they tie their dogs up and it's so annoying like right by the house and they just bark and bark and bark anywho um so we have these beautiful butterflies on this card and so there's something that's been very difficult for this beautiful earth angel to let go of okay and it's almost like you have multiple spirit guides multiple ancestors this is somebody that's had probably multiple people that's close to them pass away okay multiple loved ones who are watching over you guiding you in the correct direction okay helping you to let go of a situation yeah whoever those spirit guides are if this is darkness does not always equate to evil light does not always bring good and this says listening so there's an energy of spirit hearing your prayers on wanting to let go of this situation this is spirit hearing your prayers okay and helping and because i mean if even though you want to let go of this situation and this is what you want the love is still there and it's still very difficult to disconnect from this situation but at the same time within yourself you have found your self-worth your fulfillment your happiness okay but spirit still hears your cries they see that at times you can get sad you find it difficult to let go um i feel like through meditation you're seeing the differences between you and this person you guys are like night and day okay and with this meditation it's realizing how complicated this situation has been and how much strength and obedience it has taken you in order to push through this okay because whatever this situation is it's very complicated you and this person have so many motherfucking differences that it's just so hard to try to work this shit out but it's like spirit is really trying to send you messages that you're doing the right thing you know i feel like you're being obedient okay because you're it's very difficult for you to disconnect from this this isn't quite what you want to do but it's what you need to do it's what you know is best for you 
So through your obedience, it's it's giving you this strength to push through. You know, like spirit, you you are doing things the right way here. Wow, very chaotic energy, man, that, that you were dealing with. Look at this card, okay? Very chaotic energy that you were dealing with. You were dealing with somebody that was all over the place. This person, when the wind blows, they could be here and there. They could, this is somebody that it's almost like they create destruction everywhere they go. Like everywhere they go, they fuck shit up for the people around them. I'm hearing the movie, The Craft, okay? If any of y'all watched The Craft growing up, or I'm probably pretty old, I love that movie. Um, when the main character, she says everything, I, she tells her dad, everything I touch turns to shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's this person's energy. Like, everything they touch turns to shit. This person has a very dark cloud surrounding them, and it follows them. And so, it's almost like they bring chaos. They bring destruction everywhere they go. And Spirit wants you to know that you can't change this person. They're not going to change. This is something that they have over their head. This is something that is following them around. This is their karma, okay? So this is why spirit is trying to pull you in that direction of letting go of it. And it's hard and you're being led. You're being obedient. You found your self-worth. There's a strength here that you're finding. There's an obedience here out of this such complicated energy with so, with so many differences. You know, you started listening to your intuition and the way these guides were telling you to go, you know, and started letting go of this realizing these differences realizing how complicated this truly is and how strong you really truly that's a part of learning your self-worth you could be like why did i go through this like how did i but it's like nah you know what i'm strong as fuck because i made it through that i made it through that i made it through this fucking chaos i made it through that bullshit and i still have hope i still have hope for a future these cycles are ending and you're embracing these feminine energies and embracing this individuality wanting a warrior just like yourself okay not a fragmented soul you have a vision of what you want and spirit wants to continue every time you start to falter and you start to pull back and you start to go back into this past person or thinking about them spirit comes in to remind you don't forget it's a reminder that you have made an oath to them to co to take that risk and to move forward like the fool because you know you know that this person is keeping secrets the, you know that they're hiding things from you even though there's a lot of love in this connection and even though it's there, the beauty was not. The beauty was just not there. And you were taken advantage of. You were left alone. Even though you reaped a motherfucking loyalty. Your loyalty never faltered with this person. And this is why you feel trapped. This is why you feel like you can't walk away at times. The spirit wants you to know this chapter. That chapter has come to an end. This book, it's come to an end. This is the conclusion. And they want you to move forward. Jump on that horse and move forward with confidence. Wow, what's crazy is I said jump on that horse and move forward with confidence. And then the, a horse is on a card that says movement, y'all. Move forward. Jump on that horse and move forward with confidence. You will look. Spirit is going to congratulate you. Success is what that card says. And it's like spirit is going to be blessing you. They're going to be congratulating you for doing what it what it took it's gonna take you having to summon that inner power okay it's gonna take you summon because it's like sometimes with the fledgling card what that tells me is that like somebody can sometimes feel very um almost like i'm picturing like a baby okay you know like i don't know how to explain it like a child okay like somebody might go back and get sad and feel alone but then it's like you summon this power you summon this inner power and it's like spirit wants you to be honest with yourself when you with this situation you felt invisible 
You didn't have any sense of belonging, okay? Somebody had options, and you know what? So spirit, and, and, and it's like somebody had options, somebody had choices, and you knew it. But instead, it was like a sense of intentionally being in denial, okay? Wishing th for things to be different, but it wasn't. Look at how rigid this connection was. You know, and you're like this cuddly, beautiful little kitten. You just want somebody that's going to love you and play with you and not be like this. You know, you could be very playful, very lighthearted. This person's rigid, stern, an asshole, you know. And so that's why, once again, here comes these spirit guides coming down on you, sending you these messages, letting you know, you know what? This love is forbidden. That's no go anymore. This person's deceitful. We want you to focus on yourself. That high priestess of air and of spirit. Look at this. Look at this. All four of those high priestesses, right? A goddess, a true warrior. That's what they want you to focus on. Because I feel like at the end of the day, there's an energy of lust here. And it's like spirit telling you, you, you don't miss them. You don't miss them. When it coming out with the priestess of fire and lust, you miss that dick. You miss that JJ 1111 when I look down. You don't truly miss them. You miss that company. You miss that touch. You miss that sexual affection that they gave you. You don't truly miss them. Because when you pull sex out of the equation and all of that, yeah, you might get horny. You might be missing them. You know that they're, you fuck with them before. You ain't got to go deal with nobody new. Okay? But at the same time, what you're doing is you're continuously intertwining your spirit with theirs. Yeah, spirit definitely wants you to cut off all communication to this person, especially with this heart chakra. I mean, this throat chakra coming out. It's like, yeah, close out these cycles. You know, the world in this in this deck tells me that you know that there's way more out there than what you're experiencing. And you're ready to go and experience life. You're ex ready to experience some new things, some new emotions, some, you know, and the world is also what cycles that are coming to a close. Spirit don't want you to even give this, send this person a message. They don't even want you to talk to this person. They want you to do this healing, you know, and move forward. Card flip. Look at that. The angel of strength. They need you to be strong. This thing came out twice. They need you to be strong, cuz. Damn, they need you to be strong here. And it's going to take a lot of strength, okay, to continue to do, to move in this direction that spirit is trying to move you in. Mm. Because it's like what you don't see coming is cornucopia, healing, this yin-yang, this balancing of energies. But yet, you here you have this masculine energy that's mad as fuck. This card says hostilities. This is somebody that is very angry. This is somebody that says things out of spite. They say hurtful, mean things out of spite. This is somebody that goes out of their way to create. Like It's like if they don't get their way, they're going to cuss you out, talk shit, do whatever they can to get a rise out of you. This person is trying to block you from going towards this twin flame, this happiness that's coming into your life, because you definitely do have a soulmate. That's that twin flame, yin yang um, energy there. And then you got happiness, you have bliss coming towards you, healing coming towards you. But this person, look, happy family coming towards you. But you got this person that's hostile as fuck. They're mad as shit because you're actually cutting the cord. They're losing that energy. They do not feel your energy anymore.
yeah you're about to be blessed you're about to be blessed with abundance and this person they have nothing but time on their motherfucking hands whoever this person is they have way too much time on their hands they have nothing else to fuck to do and this person is going to go out their way to try to stir up some kind of animosity some kind of drama in your life because you're cutting them off and you're doing good without them this is one of those people that say you'll never make it without them you'll need them before they need you all that type of bullshit but what this person is really doing is they're about to like they got they're going to have time on their hand they're going to be thinking this these thoughts are going to be festering in their mind they're going to be replaying these thoughts which is going to make them matter and matter and, and then they see you moving forward you done cut ties you're not spirit is telling you don't motherfucking speak to this person don't message them don't talk to them you're not going to be giving them any energy whatsoever and they're going to be mad as fuck they're going to feel that so here goes their mind festering that's already overthinking and panicking and hostile as fuck and they're going to be coming in trying to figure out ways because you're doing to throw them throw it off to where you need them again you see what i'm saying this person is going to be mad because you're doing good without them you cut ties and you're doing absolutely fine without them you're in a damn good place and so what this person going to do, they're going to try to come in and fuck up your happiness and what you have going on so that you have to crawl back or you get in a depressed or sad, lonely energy and then you give them a call. You reach out to them. The spirit is saying, no, 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 no. That's exactly why they want you to not have a motherfucking word to say to this person. Okay? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.